Hi guys and welcome back to the 1840s dress series. Today's part is going to be the last bit of the making of. Today we're going to make the bodice. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe as I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers on YouTube before March 31st and I would be really grateful for your support. But now, without any further ado, let's get into it. So I'm now in the middle of cutting out the front of the bodice. I made myself a paper pattern which I used to cut out the first part. Again, I did this without seam allowance. If you've watched my video on how to do the Victorian corset, you've heard this before. So now I've added the seam allowance and I will now use this piece to cut out the second half of the front bodice. This is still all really rough and I will do my best to refine and clean up the shapes after I've cut them out. Especially here, I guess that I will have to reduce the waist by maybe this much even. But just to be on the safe side, I'll cut it out generously for now. I will always be later to cut something off later. But I won't be able to cut to add something back to the fabric. Another mistake I made on the first bit of the bodice is that I actually cut the tuck because I completely forgot that you can just sew it together. I'm not going to do that on this piece. So let's just cut off any excess. This is always the problem with self-drafting as you were never really sure if that was a good idea what you just did. But on the other hand it's so much more fun as the finished item will be entirely your work. So yes, I really like self-drafting but it's a lot of work and a lot of risk as well. So let's pin this all together. Let's just do the tuck. Yes, we're back to this perspective. We're now going to sew the two bodice fronts together. I've done the rolled hem I talked about earlier here. And I didn't film the fitting I did in between, but um, it fitted approximately, which means that there's still refinement to be done here and there along the bodice, especially at the tucks. But I'm now just going to go ahead and sew straight down this line. This actually turned out to fit really well. As you can see, the flowers here are quite well matched. But it doesn't really matter that much because, as you could see on my reference picture, I'm going to do these diagonal V shaped decorational thing here on the bodice. So I think I'm going to fit that on now again and then adjust the tucks and then sew those. Right, so for the back of the bodice I've just simply cut out a rectangle which I then proceeded to cut in half and which I'll now pin in place. I'll just simply pin this edge which will later be fastened at the back with hooks and eyes or buttons. I don't really know which but I would prefer using 
hooks and eyes. And this will involve quite a lot of hand sewing as I will be sewing this to the f this hem down with the blind stitch. Same as I did at the hem of the skirt and which I will also do at the bottom and top of the bodice front just to give this a more professional finish so now I'm just hand stitching the upper and lower edge of the bodice in place using a blind stitch Now I'll sew the front and back pieces together. Right now I'm just hand sewing all those pleats down. I've already done four of them, or as a matter of fact actually all five of them. Now all that remains to do is to sew the, the upper edge of the piece. To get the right size of sleeve, I'm simply going to measure the top of my arm from the shoulder right here. You can use the shoulder seam of the garment you're wearing as a guide down to my wrist. And then I'll measure the circumference of my arm at the shoulder. Now I can get to work to draft out the sleeves. I got my fabric here. Okay, so I've now cut out both of my sleeves and I'm now going to pin the bottom seam allowance down. So I'm doing a rolled hem again. Time to stitch the ruffle to the sleeve. Time to go back to the machine. Time to pin and sew the sleeves to the garment. And here you can see the finished dress worn over all my undergarments, the videos of which you can see in the corner up here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and stay tuned as there is a dressing up video coming soon. See you next time. Bye bye.